What's good, Raider Nation? Today, I want to talk to you guys about Seth Roberts being cut. Um, it was news to me, but it was not shocking. Uh, I knew he was going to get cut eventually. Uh, I'm actually surprised he lasted this long. I think he should have been cut last year. Um, Seth Roberts joined the Raiders as an undrafted free agent in 2014, right? Um, he was one of those players that came in and had an immediate impact. Not only was he uh, catching passes, he was making solid blocks. In 2015, he, he had a really good year. You know, he was catching passes. He was making game-winning touchdowns. He was, he was doing a lot, right? Uh, but what happened was he eventually got paid. He signed a three-year, $12 million contract, and after that, his game was just not ever the same. Um, you know, it's a good move to cut him because last year he did not produce. Um, he had 45 total catches for 494 yards and two touchdowns. Um, the catches, the percentage of catches is actually really high. He catches 75% of his passes, which is actually pretty high. Uh, the issue I have is he had one game where he had five catches, and that was the most catches he had last year. Five. Most of the games he had two, or maybe three catches, uh, and that's not worth four and a half million dollars. You know, that's not even close to being worth four and a half million dollars. Uh, Forty-five catches. He played every single game last year. He was not once hurt. Um, you know, four hundred ninety-four yards. Uh, it just wasn't cutting it. I think this was one of those players that we knew for a fact was going to get cut. Uh, he, his contract when, when he signed it was um, after the 2016 season, uh, three years, $12 million. Um, 2017, it was an okay year, but 2018, it was really, really bad. You know, he wasn't blocking the same at all. You know, he was missing his blocks, uh, which I saw in his film. A lot of our running plays or because of Seth Roberts missing his blocks. He wasn't setting the edge correctly, you know, or, or whatever it was. and um, Or maybe it was Jared Cook. It was one of those two guys, and that was a big part of our um, not being able to run the ball. I know that's just two players, but it definitely matters. Every player has to make their block. Uh, Seth Roberts wasn't getting it done. So we say $4.45 million, right? About $4.5 million. Um, we have no dead cap, which is good. If we cut him last year... Um, we would have saved four million last year, but we would also have had a two million dollar dead cap hit, so we would only netted a two million dollar savings. Could have been still worth it, but I think it made more sense to give him one more year uh, to at least prove it, especially in a year where we didn't have many talented receivers. You know, when Amari Cooper got traded, I personally thought Seth Roberts would step up uh, and make plays. You know, be a playmaker and, and make those tough catches, and he didn't. You know, he did not improve his game. Just it just stayed steady, right? So he didn't do anything special. Uh, he had the opportunities, um, and I think it made sense to cut him. You know, that four point five million dollars that we save, we can actually now spend that elsewhere. You know, there's a lot of good players out there uh, still in free agency. Now, I'm not saying we're going to go out and spend money on, you know, a high, you know, price free agent like, uh, like Ansa from uh, the Lions, right? That guy's going to want like 8 to $12 million. So I'm not a player like him, but we can always sign a player uh, similar to like Isaiah Crowell, right? One year, $2 million. Uh, none of it's guaranteed, so you can always cut him uh, after the preseason or, or, you know, depending on how he performs. Uh, but $4.5 million should give us two more players similar to Crowell, and there's a lot of those players out there. Remember, um, the average NFL player only lasts about three years, so there's a lot of players right now that might not ever play again. Um, you know, it, It's not that they're not good players. They can definitely produce. Uh, a lot of the times what it is, is it's cheaper to just draft someone or get like an undrafted free agent, just the way the contracts are drawn up. Um, but again, John Gruden loves his his vets, you know, and the uh, and the benefits of getting veteran players rather than the young rookie players. Um, the benefits are you're gonna get a higher IQ play player, you know. So on those onside kicks or on those uh, fake punts, you know, a player like Eric Harris or a player like um, you know like Clive McDonald, right? One of these older players, veterans. Uh, they're going to know what to do, right? They know what to do when a fake comes or when we're going to run a fake. They know what to do. They know who to block. They know what to look for. 
a rookie or a first year player, second year player, they're not going to know that, right? So again, that's why um, you know that four point four point five million dollars could be huge, right? Um, it's going to be interesting to just kind of see what we do. I wish Seth Roberts the best. Uh, hopefully, he gets another contract. Hopefully, he gets another deal to play somewhere else. Uh, a landing spot for him could be the Miami Dolphins. They lost their wide receiver uh, and Reggie McKenzie's with the Dolphins now. So, um, you know, Reggie McKenzie gave him his first contract. McKenzie can definitely bring him back in. Of, of course, we'll see how it works out for him. Uh, wish him the best of luck. Makes sense for the Raiders. I don't know what you guys think about it. Do you guys love it? Do you guys hate it? Um, what do you guys think about Seth Roberts' game uh, over the last couple of seasons, how he's been performing? Uh, comment below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. You guys are not subscribers. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys will have a great day. And I'll see you guys next time with the Game Film Breakdown.